Chad. Meantime, in Fairfax County in Northern Virginia, a protest over the public school mask mandate. Today's protest in support of one little girl who keeps getting suspended for coming to school without a mask. Bob Barnett's outside Waynswood Elementary in Alexandria with more on the story. Bob. Hey there, Steve. Good morning. Yes, to mask or not to mask, that is the debate still raging in school communities all across the country and all around our region. Here at Waynewood Elementary School this morning, uh, there are going to be some friends and neighbors of a 10-year-old fourth grader uh, supposedly having a small protest. We're not sure if the rain is going to change things here as classes start at 9.15 this morning because this uh, fourth grader uh, keeps getting suspended because her mom doesn't want her wearing a face covering in school. Uh, Fairfax County school, like many school districts around the region, still requiring masks for students and staff, even though here in Virginia, uh, Governor Glenn Youngkin has signed an executive order saying that uh, it's really up to parents. Uh, and so uh, there have been suspensions. Uh, Fairfax County says last week uh, of their 180,000 student population, some 26 kids were sent home, not necessarily suspended. Loudoun County says just on Wednesday alone, they suspended 29 students. They have something like 82. 2,000 school kids uh, in the system here uh, in uh, Loudoun County, and uh, that it is still an ongoing issue. And the people who are planning this protest this morning say they've asked Fairfax County police to have a patrol officer here because they've been getting some blowback from the community. And indeed, just since we've been out here this morning, there are some who say, you know, get over it, wear your mask in school. But obviously, there's some families who say, no, Steve, uh, we're not uh, cool with that. The governor agrees with us, and uh, we're putting it to the test. And because of that, some kids are staying home. All right, Bob. And it brings us to our Fox 5 Instapol question of the morning. We're asking, should there be a virtual learning option for students suspended for not wearing a mask? The majority of you are saying yes. And you can join the conversation at fox5dc.com or on our free Fox 5 app. All right, well, you saw.